Welcome back everyone, this is a brief update on the oil market. To start with, Russia is committed to its agreement with OPEC plus group to cut production. Numbers confirm that approximately 35,000 barrels per day were cut in January, with the number being even higher if compared to October 2018. In January, Russia reached a total of 11.38 million barrels per day. Furthermore, OPEC production also followed with a significant reduction on output in regards to January. As stated by Reuters, in January, the oil squad lowered its production by an estimate of 890,000 barrels per day compared to December, as circumstances in countries like Iran, Libya and Venezuela helped to intensify the effect of the cuts. Very interesting is the fact that Iraq has increased its output and pumped above agreed levels. In our opinion, Iraq could be a rising star in the OPEC squad, as on research we performed on the country in previous reports, they are taking actions on improving and uplifting their oil activities. To finalize our comment on OPEC, we must make a reference to Saudi Arabia, Kuwait and the United Arab Emirates, which all reduce production significantly, data confirms. Of course, the Saudis head of the list as the chief oil producer of OPEC, but Kuwait and United Arab Emirates cut production lower than initial requirement, which indirectly states that they are like-minded team players. Also, a more technical observation of crude oil activities until now in 2019 confirms an increase of the commodities price by 10 US dollars per barrel. It is our opinion that behind this rise in prices for oil is mostly OPEC's production cuts and the harsh winter conditions around the globe. On other news, US Energy Secretary, along with Qatar officials, are in the final stages of announcing a collaboration of ExxonMobil in the Golden Pass LNG facility which will be funded by Qatar's investment. The deal could be the first step for Qatar Petroleum, which is forecasted to invest $20 billion in the United States as the state firm seems eager to increase its overseas oil and gas investment. Other news from the US confirms that a fleet of oil cargoes has formed in the Gulf of Mexico with their tankers filled with Venezuela oil. Some of the cargoes were utilized for storage purposes, while others were held by trading firms, having a hard time finding refiners willing to take the oil due to payment complications linked to sanctions. That's it for the oil market. As per this opportunity, we would like to announce the upcoming IronFX webinar series, which will be starting next week on the 12th of February, with Brexit being our first subject. Make sure you participate. For more information and trading ideas, you can visit our webpage, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google+. This is Angelo Zitis from RNFX wishing you solid trading.